The traditional Christian view of demons is that they are disembodied spirits that afflict or possess people. The activity of demons, however, transcends this. Demons can also inhabit buildings, land or space. Ignorance in this area has led to the uncontrolled activity of these demons. This book by Akakrabadi titled Squatters will expose you to this truth and give you practical steps you can take to overcome such demons. Get your copy now. You could be living with your enemy. You can order this book through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Squatters at the comment section or message window. We also deliver worldwide. This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakra Baden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Morning Star Cathedral, Lighthouse Chapel International, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Hello. Kakra has been sharing an energizing message titled, Step Into Your Future, gleaned from Joshua chapter 1, verses 1 to 3. Yesterday, he explained that to step into your future, you must understand that blessings are conditional. Today, he shares the second key, company, come along. Number two, company, just about the company. Ah, this time they were in the wilderness. And they couldn't cross the Jordan to the promised land. Do you know why? God was waiting for some people to die. Wrong company. When they murmured in the wilderness, the Lord said, everybody who is 20 years old and above will have to die first before you cross the Jordan. So God said, until you dissociate from those people, you cannot cross the Jordan. So of the 4 million people, all the people above 20 years and upwards, God was waiting for Joshua and others to delink from those people. And what surprised me, God was also waiting for Moses to die. Because he promised Moses, say, you, you won't see the, the promise now. So as long as he was alive, they were not going. That's why it says, now after the death of Moses, the Lord spoke to Joshua, the son of Nun. Progress is based on people. The thing that kept them from stepping into the future was company. Now, if this coming year is going to be a great year, your company is going to be key. Psalm 17 verse 14, the Bible says, Men are thy hand, O God. Human beings are sources of supply from God. Colossians 2 19, the Bible says, Not holding the head, that the head is Jesus, from which all the body, by joints and bands, having nourishment, ministered. He's talking about the body of Christ. He said Jesus is the head. And the church members are the joints and the bands. And he said the people who form the church or human beings, God uses them to minister nourishment. To give you things that you don't have. In other words, people are channels of blessings. This year, may you meet the people who will take you to the next level. Yeah. If the people are around already, may you recognize those people. Yeah. Company. You know, I thank God for the life of Bishop Dag, the prophet. When I was, before I went to university, that's when I got to know him. When I got to first year, he had finished school, medical school. But I remember that every holiday I used to be with him from morning till evening. And because of that company, my mind didn't work like the mind of a student. My mind worked like the mind of a worker. He was the first person who told me you must marry. I was in first year. Such an idea had never occurred to me before. He said to me, you must build company. So when I started building when I was in first year. Personally, I made great advances as a student. But when I look back, 
I realized that it was all because of one thing, company. They used to instruct me, correct me, but I still followed because I knew that this one is good company. Which one of you step into your future? Thanks for tuning in. Today we learned that the company you keep will determine whether you will make progress, retrogress, or be stuck in life. Join us same time tomorrow for the continuation of this powerful message. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. Delivered a beautiful baby girl. Dear Prophet, I sent you a prayer request last year concerning fruit of the womb. You replied that you had prayed for me and by the grace of God, I got pregnant and have delivered a beautiful baby girl. God bless you mightily. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full length message or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 700 90 10. Send an email to info at kakrabadian.org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.